two are two. Alright, these images correspond to the story I'm about to tell you. Is that you two? Your task is to put them in order while I tell you the story. Okay, once upon a time, there was this duke, and he was the Duke of Vienna. And Vienna was this place that had very strict rules governing sexual behavior. However, nobody ever followed the rules because nobody ever listened to the duke, he was kind of too nice. Um, but he thought, this isn't okay, what am I going to do about this? And he leaves, and he says he's going to go take this trip to Hungary. And he's going to leave the country, or the town, in the governorship of his little friend, Angelo. Um, Angelo is a very kind of strict and moderate person, and uh, he, he gives him the government of the land and leaves. Except his plan is to return dressed up as a monk and to kind of like watch what's happening. Uh, so he leaves, Angelo takes over, and Angelo immediately lays down the law. He starts ruling with his iron fist. The first person that he punishes is a man named Claudio. Now, Claudio and his would-be wife um, didn't quite f fill out all the right paperwork before they got kind of married, and now she's pregnant, but they're technically not married. So he says, you have to die. Sorry, you're, you're, you're dead. Um, so he sentences him, sentences him to death and sends them both to jail. Now, um, everyone's really upset about this, so Lucio, who's a good friend of Claudio, he goes off to find Claudio's sister. Claudio's sister, Isabella, is about to take vows as a nun. Um, and so he goes off to the convent and asks her to come and rescue um, and beg and ask for, you know, mercy to help out um, her brother. She's distraught. She comes right away. She goes and she, she um, petitions Angelo and says, Angelo, what are you doing? This is crazy. I know that what my brother has done is wrong, but uh, you should have mercy anyway. Uh, so, uh, he, he at first is like, yeah, no, I don't think so, not so much, but come back in a couple hours. Because what really happened is, in the process of her coming and begging, he has, like, fallen madly and, like, disgustingly, lustfully in love with her. And, uh, she returns, he says to her, okay, um, I'll let your brother go free if and only if you will sleep with me. Uh, she says, heck no, techno, I would rather, I would so much rather, uh, lose my brother's life than my immortal soul. So she says no. She goes to tell her brother that, sorry, you're gonna have to die. Uh, meanwhile, the Duke, who's been listening to, in and out to all of this, dressed up as a monk, approaches her with this great idea. He says, Isabella, I know how to fix all of your problems. It turns out, it just so happens, that uh, this dude, Angelo, he, he dumped his fiance. And uh, her name's Mariana. She really, really wants to get back together with him. And uh, you need somebody to sleep with Angelo for this all to work out. So how about uh, you tell him yes, she'll go and sleep with him in your place, and we'll pretend it's you. And then, uh, and then everyone will be happy, because he'll let your brother go free, they'll be married, and it'll all be good. Um, she says, oh, OK, I guess so, maybe. So that night, they send, um, they talk to Mariana. Mariana loves this idea. They send her in her place, um, and, and everything's supposed to be hunky dory. However, Angelo is a fiend, and he says, I want the head of Claudio by 5 o'clock a.m. anyway. Um, shame on him. Uh, and the uh, Duke will not be thwarted. He's still not be thwarted. He says, I have another plan. Not only will we have a bed trick, we'll have a head trick. And this is how it's going to work. We're going to send him the head of another prisoner who will execute instead. Um, so the prisoner they're going to execute is uh, Barnadine, and he's this kind of like drunken bohemian guy. And they go in to cut, to cut off his head, and he's like, hey dude, you can't kill me, I'm drunk. That's not fair. And they're like, but we're going to kill you anyway. And he says, no, you're not. I'm going to bed. So they can't kill him. What are they going to do? Oh, good news. A notorious pirate who looks like Claudio just died last night in the jail. <laughs> so we can cut off his head and give it to them instead. So they do. So, so um, Angelo gets ahead, and uh, Claudio's happy and still alive, and they're all hiding in the prison. Okay, then, however, just to be safe, the Duke tells, tells Isabella that, yes, indeed, her brother is dead. She's really upset. She wants to go accuse him. He says, don't worry, just wait till the Duke comes back, and we'll accuse him uh, in a, a proper order of things. So the Duke comes, he enters the city gates, and he says, um, 
hey, does anybody have any complaints? Isabella comes and presents her complaints, and the Duke pretends, uh, all the while knowing exactly what's happening, to pretend to be very angry, and he sentences her to jail, and then Mariona comes, and she's like, hey, I slept with this guy last night, and they're like, no, you didn't, and he's like, yes, you did. So they send, the, the Duke says, I know, we'll ask this friar that you all keep talking about, meaning himself. So he leaves, he comes back as a friar, everyone discovers who he is, he reveals everything that happened. Um, Angelo is in trouble. Uh, but instead of killing him, they say, that's okay, you can just marry Mariana and everyone will be happy. So he marries Mariana, um, the Claudio and, and uh, his wife get back together, they have their baby, and the Duke has this great idea, how about I marry Isabella, because she's really cool. He proposes, and the plan, before we get the answer, the end. <laughs> <laughs> I have extra copies of all the images, so you can put those together, staple them, and you have a coloring book. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, she's sending, she's uh, passing around uh, papers with the various pictures in order. Oh. Yeah. And, moreover, don't write on these uh, pieces of paper, but as long as you don't have notes on them, you may bring them into the test next time to uh, serve as visual cues. 